Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you all have had a great week going. Um, I, uh, I'm sorry I didn't go live yesterday. Uh, woke up in the middle of the night. Uh, it was cold, and I had a toothache, and uh, I just couldn't get back to sleep after that. And I was a zombie come morning and just dozing off and everything. And it was it was not a good morning to uh, try to read a card. And the, uh, the special report I put out yesterday on the uh, coming lunar eclipse, Albert had told me about that the night before had mentioned he was reading something online about it and I hadn't uh, heard about it and I was like hmm so I did some research into it and uh, yep uh, surprisingly uh, that's what's going on apparently that star Al Gol it's uh they've traced it back to at least babylonian times when it was even a bad omen way back then i see the bad moon horizon i see trouble on the way i see earthquakes and lightning I see bad times today Don't go around tonight But it's bound to take you life It's a bad moon It's a long-standing tradition So hopefully it doesn't go as bad as Everything that uh, I found But uh makes me nervous i'll tell you that anyway i don't know what today may bring i'll try to get out the uh second video today on the uh um beneficial herbs beneficial herbs and Then I'll begin my work on the following video, which was suggested by uh, Susan Parker, who uh, has several of her own channels. She's uh, kind of just starting out, and it's uh, it's Susan Parker Productions is one of her channels, and then she has a second one called uh, Parker Paranormal. Yes, Susan suggested uh, what's coming up in a, a following video that I still have to do a lot of research on and stuff. But uh, anyway, I'm uh, shuffling, and I'm doing terrible this morning, shuffling. <laughs> Just awful. There, that's a little bit better. But, uh, so, let me cut the deck. And uh, let's see what's going on. Let's see what the card of the day brings. Hopefully it was better than uh, yesterday's video. <laughs> okay, today's card is... Today's card is the Nine of Wands. And I will talk about it here. The Nine of Wands shows a weak-looking man holding onto a wand with eight others upright wands standing between them. The man looks injured, as you can tell from the bandage on his head. But he still seems ready to fight another battle and desires strongly to win. He has a look of hope and determination about him that should help him go through that one last battle 
It is a card that shows a mix of challenges, hopes, and triumphs. The Nine of Wands Tarot card is one that symbolizes great hope, even when one is faced by many problems that threatens to make them lose their balance. The Nine of Wands symbolizes one's life, which has undergone too many trials, but through their determination and will, they were able to overcome them. These won battles are symbolized by the eight upright wands. However, there are still more trials that the person may face. This can be one major trial or challenge that they are supposed to face for them to reach their goal or be successful in their quest. The card is a sign of hope and encouragement that you should face your trials with courage so that you may attain success. The Nine of Wands may also mean that a person has been betrayed and has thus become mistrustful toward others. This may be because something that has happened a, a number of times, and it might be the first glance that seems hopeless, but there is also hope and courage here, and the belief that this outcome is about to change. Someone or something may come into their lives that will change their whole view of their past struggles. It encourages one to take the risky move because they may be surprised. Okay. The love meaning. You have prepared and strategized and now are ready to face the challenges that are coming ahead. The Nine of Wands tarot love meaning signals that you recognize that the love you want will require much work, self-improvement, and sacrifice. In fact, this is the nature of all love. Many believe that love is only a feeling, but in reality, it comes from two lovers that are willing to adapt and work through problems together as a team. It is a constant communication and adjustment. This realization is coming to you now, and you are preparing for it. It's likely, too, that you are about to take a big step forward when it comes to your romantic life. Are you about to propose or suggest to your partner that you take the next steps together? The Nine of Wands means that you should do the work, you'll be successful. Career-wise, here, as in every position, the Nine of Wands marks the halfway mark in a battle. You are not done with the struggles, but they will end soon. At present, you are likely exhausted. The battle rages on, but you likely feel that you are too exhausted to continue fighting much longer. Let this card serve as a reminder whatever troubles you face in your career right now are temporary. Perhaps your workload has been particularly heavy recently. It will lighten up. Whenever your trouble ease, you will see that you had the strength to fight until the end. You can persevere, but the battle is not yet won. Financially, the Nine of Wands can signal financial trouble. You are likely not in economic distress, but are under some pressure. It might be enough that you are considering taking out money from your savings or other such sources, like loans or borrowing from somebody. Instead of turning to dwindle your savings or otherwise compromise your finances, consider finding another source of income. If you work a shift job, take on extra hours or otherwise consider working overtime. This does not need to be a permanent change. You will come out from under this economic distress soon. Until then, however, you must confront your financial situation with determination and drive. Any overall meaning? There is a sense of weariness or defensiveness when the Nine of Wands appears. He holds one wand in a guarded position and looks out of the corner of his eyes beyond the eight wands. He is somewhat guarded and may also be on the defense. This card could be signaling that you are gearing up for a battle or that a long drawn out one is coming to an end. The man is alone, so you, you may feel alone when it comes to the situation at hand. But at the same time, he has set up the eight wands in front of him to almost protect himself from any battles or harm. He may be expecting hostility, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. The Nine of Wands card shows up often when we are preparing for a big move, 
and are uncertain about the results. We may also just be putting up some walls in a particular situation. This card is about planning and preparing in a smart way. You may be gearing up for something big and bold, but you are more prepared than you may believe when this card appears. This card also carries the message that the battle is over and you've grown as a result. All right. There we go. Uh, I hope you all, you know, are having a great day. Um, peace. And believe. And until tomorrow. Bye-bye.